Hi, and welcome to this Centesite.ai tutorial on how to train image segmentation models. First, you need to label your dataset for segmentation. There is another video tutorial for image labeling. Uh, however, uh, here I'm just going to show uh, the basic functionalities. To open the image labeling tool, uh, just right click on an image, uh, select labeling tools and uh, label images. We have uh, two ways to label uh, images for segmentation. First one is uh, polygons, so you can just uh, label your object of interest uh, using a polygon tool. Uh, and another one is uh, bitmaps, so you can just uh, draw uh, the bitmap. Uh, however, to speed up uh, image labeling, we suggest to use a smart labeling tool. Just a quick notice, uh, we are going to use instance segmentation uh, model. So we want to uh, label each object uh, as separate. So even though I want to label three mushrooms, uh, I want to label them as separate object. Uh, so uh, to use a smart labeling tool, just select smart labeling uh, tool panel and then select the area of interest. So I'll select uh, the area which encompasses only this particular uh, mushroom. First, I need to label some uh, foreground. To do this, I can click here or E hotkey. Uh, so I'm just going to label some of the foreground that I want to extract. Uh, you see that not everything is extracted, so I need to label a little bit more. And here a little bit more. Uh, now, if there are some unwanted parts extracted, I can label them as background. So by clicking G or on the button. Uh, however, you see that the uh, colors of these two mushrooms are almost uh, the same, so it will be difficult for the algorithm to distinguish between the two. Uh, so another option is just to finish uh, labeling uh, the smart labeling tool. Uh, so you can do this by clicking here and uh, then simply uh, erase unwanted areas uh, using bitmap uh, labeling tool. You can also add some uh, areas if you have erased a little bit too much. And this is it, one mushroom is labeled for image uh, segmentation. To label uh, the second mushroom, first I can hide the visibility of this first mushroom, then uh, select the smart labeling tool, uh, select the area of the other mushroom, and uh, continue as before, marking some uh, foreground. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to accept and uh, erase the parts that I don't need. And that's it. So you're going to just uh, repeat the process for the third mushroom and for every other photo you have in your data set. One more detail. Uh, don't forget to change the label of the segmentation mask you have uh, created. So by default, it takes uh, the first uh, label in your data set or uh, the classification label of the photo change the label, just enter another label name. The process of training image segmentation model is quite similar uh, to the one of object detection. So you just uh, click train, instant segmentation, then uh, select uh, all the parameters that you want. If you're not sure uh, what to select, you can just leave everything at the default values. Um, 
the training time is uh, selected by default based on the number of images you have for each class and the number of classes you have. And once you are happy with all the parameters, uh, you just uh, click start. Since now I'm trying to train on the sample uh, data set, it asks me whether I want to load the sample model instead. Just for the demonstration purposes, I'll click no. Uh, and then I'll just confirm that I, I am uh, allowing to use my balance for training this model. And here in the uh, trained uh, models tab, I can see uh, the progress of uh, model uh, training. After the model is trained, uh, you can click uh, Trained Models uh, tab and uh, you can click uh, View Training Statistics uh, button uh, to view the model statistics. As before, uh, the training statistics window is divided in two parts, uh, Train and Validation. You can see various uh, statistics uh, for the train and validation sets. However, first I would like to show you uh, the actual predictions on the validation set. The predictions are uh, marked in uh, different uh, colors uh, based on the label name. Uh, and uh, the ground roof uh, masks are marked in a checkerboard. You can turn off the uh, ground roof mask by clicking this uh, checkbox. For each prediction, we report uh, the predicted score and the intersection over union value, which uh, determines how much the predicted mask overlaps uh, with the ground roof mask. If the uh, predicted score is uh, above the predefined uh, threshold and the IOU is also above a predefined threshold, then the prediction is correct. Uh, for an uh, image to be co considered predicted correctly, all the ground truth boxes must be predicted with a single uh, predicted mask. You can filter uh, to show only the correct predictions or only the incorrect predictions. For example, in this image, uh, for a single uh, ground roof mask, there are two predicted masks. Uh, so this prediction is considered incorrect. Now, uh, looking back into the statistics window, you can see that some of the um, statistics measures are marked uh, by asterisks. These uh, statistics measures depend on the score threshold that you choose. Also, uh, depending on the score threshold that you choose, um, the prediction can be considered either as correct or incorrect. The uh, default score thresholds are marked uh, by this uh, vertical arrow. To change the score thresholds, uh, you can turn on the advanced view and unmark use optimized uh, thresholds uh, checkbox. Uh, for each class, uh, you can see a precision recall curve. So to change the score threshold, you can just uh, click anywhere on the precision recall curve and the score threshold is changed. Depending on this score threshold, uh, the statistics will change and also uh, these vertical tabs will be in a different place. Uh, normally, you can just uh, trust the uh, optimized score thresholds. However, for advanced users uh, who understand the precision and recall measures, uh, we can set uh, the score thresholds that we uh, require. In the advanced view, you can also set the intersection over union parameter that also affects uh, which uh, of the predictions are co considered correct or incorrect. You can also view the uh, learning curves for a training instance segmentation model. You can download the predictions as uh, JSON or um, image uh, bitmaps. Uh, however, I leave it uh, to you to try out. Once you review the model statistics, uh, you can start making predictions uh, on images that were not included neither into the training nor the validation sets. 
to make a prediction with a model, just click uh, make a new prediction button. Then uh, click upload images and uh, select the images from your computer. The predicted masks uh, will be displayed on top of the images and there will also be check boxes uh, next to each image. Uh, to correct incorrect predictions, uh, you can just uncheck some of the boxes and uh, check other boxes. Uh, also, you might adjust uh, the predictions by right-clicking on an image, uh, selecting uh, labeling, and then just uh, drawing the additional uh, bitmaps. Once you uh, exit the labeling tool, uh, this will be this image will be marked as edited. Once you review all the predictions, uh, you can uh, select all images in a page and uh, click Add to Dataset to add those predictions to your existing uh, dataset. In this case, uh, images will be marked as auto-labeled. And uh, the next time you train image segmentation model, you can uh, include these auto-labeled image, uh, images into the training set. Uh, so the next iteration of image segmentation model uh, will be more accurate. This is uh, what we call an AI-assisted labeling or uh, iterative labeling in other words. There are two other ways to make predictions using trained models. One of them is using uh, the REST API and another one is by downloading the offline uh, model. Uh, when using uh, the predictions, when making predictions using REST API, you will need API token, a project ID, and model name. You can read more about where to find those in our uh, user guide. Uh, we also have code samples uh, for several different languages. Uh, so uh, you don't need to um, code yourself. You can just use our code samples uh, to make the predictions via uh, our REST API. Also, we have a Swagger specification. So if the language you are using is not among uh, the provided ones, you can uh, use Swagger to export many other uh, different uh, languages. Another option is to download offline model. So for this, uh, you can uh, select uh, the model and click download model button. Uh, this will uh, prepare the model uh, and it will be available on by clicking this icon. And once it's ready, you can download and set a REST API server on your own computer. Uh, this uh, offline model is free to use for uh, 30 days and after those uh, 30 days you need to buy a line license from us to continue using this model. So this is all I wanted to share about uh, training image segmentation models using Sentisai.ai. I didn't cover all of the features, so you are also welcome to watch our other video tutorials or uh, you you read our user guides uh, to learn more about our functionalities. Otherwise, uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.